think, as Mallory mentioned, one of the upsides of pickleball is you can play it inside or outside. Right. And it sounds like this right. week, mostly an inside game. Yeah, it is. It's interesting. We were just talking about, I heard that it picked up big time during COVID. People were like, here's the thing I can, oh, a lot of interesting things came out of it. Correct. But pickleball wouldn't have been on my list of things. <laughs> Not on the bingo card. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it wasn't, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, sure. All right, here's a look at the uh, satellite. You know, we were talking earlier about how we had a little bit of sunshine early along the coastline. Obviously, it's nice to have more than an hour of sun, but if you're gonna do it for an hour or two, I think the morning's nice. You woke up to a little sun and the clouds collapsed on us. Uh, and what, what's there to say about the radar? There's just, uh, a smorgasbord of showers out there right now. Most of this stuff is pretty light. Some of it coming down more as drizzle down across the southern coast, but there's a chance of showers pretty much everywhere in the state right now through the evening as well. The positive of this upper level low is that it's keeping the smoke away from us. You've probably seen the images out of New York City, DC, and up into the Midwest of really smoke filled skies and the air quality is really bad. And that's being kept away from Maine because of this upper level low, which is acting to push the smoke and pull it with the winds down to our south. And so basically with this low straight over us, we're in good shape as far as smoke goes. Now there is a little haze over far southern Maine, but the strata stack of clouds is so low that you can't see it anyways and it's not impacting our air quality. So I'm trying to find the positive to this upper level low and hopefully that, that did a little something for you. So tonight it's cloudy. There's a chance of showers, temperatures right around 50 degrees. We don't really arc up that much tomorrow. We're in the mid and upper 50s by tomorrow afternoon. Again, scattered showers around, not all that heavy, but there'll be enough of them around that it's going to be tough to plan outdoor activities. Same thing tomorrow night, down to about 50. Then on Friday, we're into the low 60s. Notice just a few more breaks of sun in here by Friday. I think we're starting to loosen up this low and there will still be showers around to be clear, but there'll be a little bit more of that pop up feeling of showers, which is a little bit more summery. So slow progress. And I think by Saturday, you'll really notice that maybe some sun through the first half of the day, pop up showers in the afternoon, and then Sunday looks good. A mixture of sun and clouds. Monday looks good as well. So we get two nice days, which I think mentally will be very beneficial. You can see uh, without even looking at the precip or cloud maps, you can tell which days are clear. Sunday and Monday, mid to upper 70s, couple low 80s possible. Monday afternoon. Rain does come back in Tuesday night into Wednesday. Next week is not as unsettled as this week, but um, I think it's going to take until about at least the 15th or so to really loosen this pattern up and then we'll try to go in a different different direction with our lives. <sighs> well, Hopefully. at least the weather. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Glad you clarified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> 